What's going on, people? This is Influence, back with another video. Um, want to talk about Spider-Man Homecoming. I ain't did one of these videos in a while. Uh, hmm. I think this was a almost perfect Spider-Man movie. Um, no movie's perfect, so I can't say it's perfect. There was a, there was some stuff in there that I did not like, but I mean it's very very minor. So first, let me get to a little bit of history. This is, uh, I think this will be the definitive Spider-Man movie. This will be the definitive Spider-Man as far as Tom Holland. Um, you know, no disrespect to the other people that played Spider-Man, but I just think with the Amazing Spider-Man and the first Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire, um, I don't think they just didn't capture everything that they could have captured. Which, as Spider-Man, like, I just don't think they were, they conveyed Spider-Man and Peter Parker all at once. I think each of them did their own thing uh, well. Um, but I think Tom Holland has the whole thing. Not only that, he don't look 37, as told McGuire. Uh, <laughs> you know, they're supposed to be in high school. I think the whole, you know, no disrespect to the cast, but... You know, when somebody say no disrespect, they about to disrespect them. But they all look like they was 40 years old in high school. So, I mean, you had that. But, like, this whole cast is amazing. Vulture, 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 Vulture. Vulture is amazing. Um, Michael Keaton, you know, he he's just a great actor. But I think this is one of the most developed bad guys that we've gotten. Like, they... You know, you, you go through everything. You, you kind of sympathize with him a little bit. Uh, spoiler alert. I may have some spoilers in here. Um, I try to keep it spoiler free for my people that haven't seen it. I don't know what you're waiting for. Uh, but if you haven't seen it, I'll, I'll try to keep it spoiler free. But, um, yeah, so Vulture was great. Um, Shocker was great. Uh, like, you know, what what little bit we, we've seen. Um the little Easter eggs, uh, the little twists, I guess, um, they were great, like, you had some aha moments, like, oh, you know, you, you had a lot of Easter eggs, I may go over some of the Easter eggs, um, in another video, but, uh, what else, like I said, the cast, the cast was, was, was great, um, I don't think you could have asked for more, as far as they looked like they were in high school, uh, Tom Holland was just, I mean, he, he conveyed Peter Parker and Spider-Man. Um, I know some people, I don't want to get into the whole story or whatever, but I think a lot of the material, source material was from the Ultimates, um, you know, so you could give or take some, you know, I mean, the MCU, they treat like a different universe. So they can really do what they want to do. People, you know, people were mad about the, some of the love interests and, well, not some of them. They were mad about both of the love interests. Uh, sorry, spoiler alert, both, um, if that's a spoiler. I'll tell you what I didn't like about the movie. I can't even say didn't like it. Some of the pacing in the beginning was weird to me. Like, when it first came on, I saw the Sony logo, and I was like, ah, waiting for the Marvel logo, and this is a little spoiler. Sorry about that. It might have changed. Uh, I had to cut it out. Um, memory card got filled up. But what was I talking about? Um, yeah, with the with the Sony logo, like, I guess we're just, like, brainwashed in, um, in all the bad. Well, not bad. I can't say bad, because... Some of the movies were, I mean, all the movies, like, I, I I don't think they all, they all were terrible, but there have been some terrible movies outside of Marvel, so I think we're just, like, it's just in us and brainwashed that if somebody else does it, other than Marvel, it's going to be terrible or it's not going to be right, so when I saw the Sony logo, I was like, ah, and I didn't see the Marvel, I don't know, I just... I knew the story, I knew Marvel made the movie, Sony put up most of the money, whatever, but, uh, but still, you know, I still had that in my head, so, 
as I sat there and I was like, oh, and the pacing was a little slow and I, I, I just didn't know what to expect. I guess I didn't know what to expect anyway. So, um, yeah, but uh, it was great. So I, I had no complaints. But I think if I could say one bad thing or not, not even bad thing, but a couple things um, besides the pacing, maybe the CGI. I think the CGI wasn't on point, like the greatest. I don't know how to explain it. I think the movements of Spider-Man, just technology, we're not there yet as far as to get it to look almost real. I mean, you could, you know, you could tell and your brain would say, yeah, that's CGI, but it didn't take me out of the movie. The movie was still great. Um, you know, like, like on, I don't know if the budget was smaller or bigger. I probably should research it. Doctor Strange, like Doctor Strange CGI was on point. Like the whole, almost the whole time, like even running. It's hard to get fluid running and, and jumping. So, which is what Spider-Man does, like fluid jumping. And, um, you know, like even sometimes him standing in the suit, like not moving, you could tell it was CGI. Uh, I guess a lot of that was CGI. So, but that's not, you know, it's not really a negative because it, it didn't take away from the movie. It didn't, uh, wasn't a bad thing. It's just something to note. And I think that's it for me as far as anything that wasn't on point. Um, everything else, the story, everything was great. Uh, like I said, you got one of the, one of the best scenes in superhero movie with the two main characters not even in costume so that right there was great uh at the warehouse that scene was great i know i'm spoiling spoilerific a little bit but when you when you get to that scene you'll know what scene it is um you know what i'm talking about but i think that's it as far as i mean it was a great movie i saw it twice i recommend it in the movie theaters in the imax if you can uh and I think everybody enjoy it. Stay for both scenes. Yeah, there's two scenes after the credits. If you haven't seen it yet. Uh, and yeah, I think they were great too. Uh, even, I don't want to spoil too much. Even though I said there would be a little spoilers in it. But the scenes were great for what they were. Um, I think that's it. Uh... I'm looking forward. Oh, I, I, the one thing that I did think I thought maybe Iron Man would overshadow the movie, but he did not. Tony Stark didn't like they worked that in uh, great. Like I just think they did it the best possible way that they could. Um, like as his mentor, you know, sorta. So well, not sorta. He was, but yeah, everything else. And there's a couple surprises in it. You know, towards the end, I know people that have seen it know what I'm talking about. I was like, oh, where did that come from? So, but, yeah, so leave me, you know, leave me some questions in the comments or discussions or whatever you want or nothing. Um, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. All right, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, and I'll get back with you. Peace. In pop, I fail, I gotta say, who am I, you might say, influence, and I spit better than most in this game, provoking thought with no cocaine, no swag.